Creating and preserving affordable housing. It's a major challenge in Austin with no silver bullet solution, but the city council is looking into another way to hang on to the housing stock that does exist. KXA's Kylie McGivern reports the city could tack on a fee to stop demolitions. We need to be more assertive about preserving the existing affordable housing that we have. Right now, Austin has about 60,000 non-subsidized affordable housing units on the chopping block. The idea is for city staff to analyze the impact of demolishing those units and possibly make property owners pay a fee for that impact. There's a city outside of Chicago that collects uh, $10,000 for the demolition of any residential structure or per unit for a multifamily apartment unit. Uh, we can't structure our program in the way that they do, but we are looking toward, we're looking to create a, a mitigation fee. Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Tovo lives in one of three districts where more than half of all approved demolition permits occur. We know that when that housing is demolished and new housing comes in its place, the housing costs increase. I mean, a fee increases the cost of housing across the board. Whit Featherston, a builder, says if you're looking to preserve affordable housing, this isn't the way. We want people to live in Austin that it can afford a $200,000 house, a $300,000 house, you know, and, and this gets passed directly onto them. This is attempting to do a linkage fee by another name. A linkage fee is generally attached to new construction to subsidize affordable housing. Texas, doesn't allow it. So at best, this is, you know, an 18-month solution until the legislature reconvenes and says, no city of Austin, you can't do that. But Tovo is determined to see what they can. It's incumbent on, on the city council to really do whatever we can to, to address that issue. Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. City data indicates there were nearly 1,800 demolitions in the urban core between 2000 and 2010 in just 10 years. That's the same amount of residential demolitions as the 30 years before. The city manager is expected to report back with recommendations by April. Council members have made other recent changes when it comes to demolition rules. Last night, they approved changes for testing for lead and asbestos before demolishing a home. The changes would limit public exposure to those items and other potential toxins found in older homes. The move came after a recent audit showed safety risks were not being taken into consideration during demolitions.